When it comes to American history, no map would be more consequential than John Mitchell's A Map of the British and French Dominions in North America. Prepared in 1755, on the eve of the Seven Years' War, Mitchell's work was the most accurate map of North America published in the 18th century, and was held in such high esteem that the British and the Americans would use it as the base map for their territorial negotiations during the Treaty of Paris in 1783. John Mitchell, physician, botanist, chemist, biologist and surveyor, began his life in Virginia before moving to England in 1746. Whilst in London, Mitchell advised the local gentry on exotic botany and also made the acquaintance of the Earl of Halifax, President of the Board of Trade and Plantations. Halifax shared Mitchell's passion for cartography, together with his hawkish views on British territorial expansion in North America. So when Mitchell decided to produce a map to set out British territorial claims, Halifax arranged access to the official maps and reports in the board's possession, including maps by Fry and Jefferson, George Washington, Christopher Gist, John Bornwell, and others. The board also instructed all of the colonial governors to send detailed maps and boundary information for Mitchell's use. The resulted map sets out the justification for British territorial claims, be they physical, legal, or through acquisition. The coloring reinforces this with the colonies of Virginia, North and South Carolina, and Georgia stretching like go faster strips on a Mustang across the whole of the map. These aggressive territorial claims foreshadow the United States' belief in manifest destiny, with her God-given mission to spread freedom across America from sea to shining sea. One of the great ironies of Mitchell's map that did so much to fuel support for British colonial expansion in America was its use in demarcating the new extent of the United States at the Treaty of Paris in 1783 a treaty that would result in the greatest loss of territory the British Empire would experience until the middle of the 20th century.